broke my heart. After Tupac's death, they came out with this record, Against All Odds. Of course, that was something really big to street people. It was a big evolution in the diss record. But he changed the type of music that was going to be made. Aggressive and really speaking your mind. Open my true muscle. Yo, so we back in here for another edition after your mother. And this is going to be a long video. Saw this last week sometime. Now, I guess they're putting out another documentary about Tupac. Why they won't let the man so rest. I don't understand. But you got all these busters. Haitian Jack, King Tut. A slew full of reporters. They even got Deb Abney ass up there. I don't even recall her being around in 1996. But then again, I was 13. So then there's that. But titles right here. The subtitle says they're saying that when Tupac this Haitian Jack on Against All Odds. It shook the street world and changed hip-hop forever because it was the first time a rapper dissed a street duel. That's not necessarily true. If I could recall right, while Easy e was a rapper, he was a street nigga. Ice Cube dissed him. That counts. <laughs> Especially because he was a member of the Insane Crips. So he could have shot Ice Cubes and he could have switch cheesed him. It's the same with MC Rand. He was a certified insane crip. He could have gunned or had Ice Cube gunned down back in 91, 92, whatever. Uh, DJ Quick, he dissed a whole slew full of street niggas, including MC8. These are all affiliated gang related dudes. Tupac just dissed a street nigga that nobody knew. He was a nobody number six. And all them niggas, in my opinion, was complicit in setting and robbing him up. Now, I looked in the comment section. People wanted uh, a lot of new school people and even some old jackasses want to say Haitian Jack didn't snitch. I even got Haitian Jack in this video, which I couldn't play the rest because of copyright raw laws. Talking about he never snitched on nobody. Well, technically, I mean, Tupac has said this in an interview. The reason that he had this Haitian Jack is because they both were on trial for the alleged essay of that woman, Ayanna Jackson, in the hotel room. Haitian Jack had decided to have his trial separately. And if Tupac had caught wind that he was going to testify against Tupac saying it was him that essayed that woman, not him. That's why he called him a snitch. Because, bro, not only are you lying on me, but you putting the blame, placing the blame on me. Not only that, he was subsequently shot and gunned down by King Tut and a couple other niggas in the hotel at Quad City Studios. I have reason to believe it wasn't a robbery. It was a hit. They wanted to kill him so he wouldn't testify in court. Long story short, he was subsequently killed in 1996, so he never did go back to court on that trial. They dropped all charges against everybody. So then there's that. In any event, if y'all like this, I guess, informative news brief or educational video, uh, once again, YouTube, this is fair use. I was using that video, the topic, for commentary. I'm not copyright infringing him, but I'll probably use a steal. So then there's that. In any event, if y'all like this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. No.